A new playroom at Unity Point Health St. Luke's is open and ready for kids. The playroom includes dry erase boards for drawing and a gaming system. Community members donated to this cause, including the Gilcrest Foundation, who donated a $25,000 grant. Ann Holmes says this will encourage children to be more active alongside their families. A Wisconsin family that honored their late father's decades-old vow to keep a Christmas tree is now preparing to say goodbye. Jeremy Roth has today's Take a Look at This. A Wisconsin man is honoring his roots with a Christmas tree that's 44 years old. Rich Olson's father put the tree up in 1974 after several of his sons went off to war. He said he would never take down again until he had all six brothers home, his sons. But the family never fully reunited, and on November 7th, Olson's father died in a car accident. So 44 years after it went up, the tree still stands, now as a memorial. But this Christmas, the family says they'll finally say goodbye to the beloved tree. Yeah, we're going to take it outside and light up the Christmas tree for the last time and take everything off and just close to Dad. A Michigan family is going through a tough breakup with the Detroit Lions, that is. The Carpo family says they're done and divorcing the football team. Football wasn't fun anymore. They say the Lions' 0-16 record in 2008 was a low point, but this year's dismal start was the last straw. The Carpos are switching over to the Kansas City Chiefs and say they won't be back even if the Lions turn it around. Ouch. And finally, watch basketball coach Sako White passionately use sign language to instruct his deaf players. A fan caught this moment on camera during a timeout. The Mississippi School for the Deaf uses sign language as well as English to educate and challenge students. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth.